Hello, my name is Carlos Ramirez. Um, uh, we are going to show a demo of this project. This project, in this project, we build a complete CI CD and the project machine learning application. Uh, you can see in the readme the instruction. Here we have a diagram of the project structure, and these are the steps we have to follow to run our project. First, we go to Azure and open a cloud, Azure Cloud Share. Second, you need to create a resource group or use existing, create an Azure storage and file share. Next, create a Python environment with Python minus M, BMB, and the directory, the name of the repository of the environment. Um, then activate the environment with source, the name of the environment being activated command. The next step is to create an SSH keys with SSH minus key gen, minus T, RSH. Then you go to the GitHub project and in this link and clone it with this command, git clone. Once you have your project clone, you have to run make install to install all of the package needed to run our app and to run the test and the link. You can run locally the, with Python app.p to test in the, the cloud shell. Then you can deploy deploy the Azure Web Services with with us web app up and the name of the of your services. When your application is deployed, we can go to the Azure DevOps and create your organization, create a new project, enter the project name description, and you can make it public or private. Create a new pipeline and select the GitHub repository. You'll be asked by Azure to use the GitHub repositories. You'll be asked for permission. Next, you will configure your pipeline as Python to Linux web app on Azure. Select the subscription and the web app. Validate and configure your and set your web application, save and run your pipeline. Next, we can test it. You, we can run the script in the cloud shell, may pre the Azure SSA app, may pre the Azure app. Um, we can see our prediction of the how cells. But first, we have to change this line in this script. And here, you have to, to change and you have to put here the name of your web application services. Uh, next, you have to run the command and you will see the prediction, something like this. And you can see the, <clears throat> the pipeline deployed and that's all. Um, uh, for uh, we can, if you want to improve the project, I think I think you uh, you can, for example, 
create a clip tool to replace the script, the, the script for the prediction, and replace it with a Python code, which I said, a dictionary as parameter, as parameter. Thank you.